Okay, notes 3.7 are mid segments of triangles and trapezoids. Our mid segment of a triangle is a segment whose endpoints are the midpoints of the two sides. So if we have this triangle ABC, if we can find the midpoints of M and M, M and N of sides AB and sides AC. So if I take my ruler out and we can measure and we can find that the midpoint, so this is about 48 millimeters, so the middle of 48 is 24, so 24 is right there. But didn't make a mark, so we'll make a mark. So 24. is right there. So that's 24. Now we can also measure over on this side. Just gotta move it. Put zero. And 24 on this side is right about there. So what that shows is that we have a mid-segment here and a mid-segment here. And now if we connect these, it connects with a straight line. So we found the, the mid segments and we know that these were each 24 millimeters and 24 millimeters so we found the mid segment so we drew it now if we measure MN and BC so if we look at MN so MN is about 25 25, about 24 actually, measure that again, so MN, put that right there, about 24 millimeters, so MN, MN is 24 millimeters, and now if we look at BC, BC is about 48, so BC is 48 millimeters. So now it says, well, what do you notice about the the length of them? So w w what's the relationship between 24 and 48? Well, BC is twice as big. So it's twice as much. So the mid segment of a triangle, so if we look at this, the mid segment of a triangle is blank to the side of the triangle and has a measure equal to the blank of that side. Well, the measure the mid segment is half. So it's half. 48 and 24 mn, this is half. So it's half. So it's half of that. And now if we look at this, it says measure angle ABC. So ABC and angle AMN. This is M, this is N. Well, what I'm going to tell you is that these angles are congruent. So those two angles are congruent. So what can we say? Well, if we have two congruent angles, we know that lines lines MN and BC are parallel. So these lines are parallel. The reason we know that, that's the converse. It's the converse of corresponding angle theorem. So if we have corresponding angles, then the lines are parallel. That's the converse of our corresponding angle theorem. The corresponding angles, if we have parallel lines, then we have angles that are congruent. Well, the converse is if we have angles that are congruent, the lines are parallel. So a mid segment of a triangle is parallel to a side of the triangle and has a measure equal to half that side. So it's parallel, these MN is parallel to BC, and it's half of this side. The mid segment of a trapezoid. All right, it's a segment whose endpoints are at the midpoints of the non-parallel side. So, if we are given this trapezoid, we can find the midpoints of MN 
of m and n, so we know that our midpoints are right here, and they're right here. We can draw it, all right? Now we can measure the length of AB and DC and of MN. So if I would measure these, so I'm going to say that when I measure this, this is, so I measured this, this is 14, this is 10, and then when I measured, I measured my mid segment MN, I got 12. And if we measure our angles, well, once again, this angle and this angle, so we can measure those angles, and they are congruent. So what we can say about this relationship between MN and AB and DC, well, if we put DC and AB together, so if we do DC plus AB, so DC plus AB, well, DC is 14, AB is 10, that's 24. Well, what do you notice about MN? MN is half of, of that. So MN is half of DC plus AB. Half of 24 is 12. And then once again, if these angles are congruent, these are our corresponding angles, well, then lines AB and MN are parallel. So lines MN is parallel to AB. It's also parallel to DC. So since it's a trapezoid, AB and DC are parallel. Well, if MN is parallel to AB, therefore it's also parallel to DC. So the mid-segment of a trapezoid is parallel. So it's parallel to the bases of the trapezoid and has a measure equal to half, so half of base 1 plus base 2. So it's half of base 1 plus base 2. So we add the two bases up and we get base 1 plus base 2. So our mid-segment, the mid-segment equals base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So now we have a couple notes. The length of a triangle mid-segment, you need to know this, has a length of base 2. The length of the trapezoid mid-segment is base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2, where B1 and B2 are the lengths of the bases. So we can find these measures. So we want to find AB. So in this triangle, we have a triangle. This is the mid-segment. Mid-segment. So we know that it's the base divided by 2 is going to equal 20. Well, the base equals, we multiply both sides by 2, equals 40. So AB is 40. Now here we're given the base. Well, we know that our formula is base divided by 2. So it's 50 divided by 2. So the mid-segment is 25. So IJ is 25. Now the uh, 12 we have a trapezoid. So with the trapezoid we have base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. Well base 1 is 40 plus base 2 is 50 all divided by 2. Now make sure we add the numerators first so we get 90 divided by 2 which gives us 45. So the mid segment is 45. All right, and then we can look at the next example. All right, 13. We have a trapezoid, so that's base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 equals our mid segment. Now, this time it gives us the mid segment. So we have base 1 plus 100 divided by 2 is equal to 90. So we multiply both sides by 2. So we have base 1 plus 100 equals 180. So base 1 equals 80. Subtract 100 from both sides. So we know that RS is 80. 
I know some of you would have been able to figure that out just by looking at but then you get to 14 now we have we are given values um, expression so we're not just given numbers now we have to actually use our, our math terms to figure this out so with the triangle we know it's our base divided by 2 equals our mid segment well the base is 5x minus 5 divided by 2 equals 2x plus 1 multiply 2 on both sides so we have 5x minus 5 multiplying everything by 2 so I'm going to distribute to everything so this gives us 4x plus 2 now we can solve this we add 5 subtract 4x so I have 1x equals 7 so now x equals 7 we plug 7 back in so I'm going to plug 7 in that's 14 plus 1 is 15 I plug 7 in 35 minus 5 is 30 and now we have a trapezoid so to figure out the trapezoid we have base 1 I'm going to do this in actually a different color I'll do this in blue so I have base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 equals our mid segment now I'm going to plug everything in so I have x squared plus x minus 2 plus x squared plus 3x minus 12 divided by 2 equals our mid segment which is 8. We multiply both sides by the 8 and I'm going to combine my like terms so I have 2x squared 2x squared plus 4x minus 14 equals 16. To solve our quadratic equations what we want to do is we want to set this equal to 0 so I'm going to subtract 16 so I have 2x squared plus 4x minus 30 equals 0. I have a factor of 2 so I'm going to divide everything by 2 so I have x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Now I think of factors of 15 factors of 15 that can give me 2 well I have x plus 5 x minus 3 5 times 3 is 15 five, or well 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 positive 5 plus negative 3 is positive 2 so now I know that x plus 5 equals 0 x minus 3 equals 0 so x equals negative 5 or positive 3 figure out what the length of FG is we plug these values back in so if I plug in negative 5 I have negative 5 squared plus negative 5 minus 2 so that gives me 25 minus 5 minus 2 which is 20 minus 2 18 or if we plug in 3 so if we plug in 3, so 3 squared plus 3 minus 2, that's going to give me 9 plus 3 minus 2, which equals 10. So FG can be 18 or it can be 10. If we try to figure out what IH is, once again we plug in negative 5. So if I plug in negative 5 here, so negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 minus 12. Well, this is going to give me 25 minus 15 minus 12. Well, now look what happens. 25 minus 15 is 10. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So when I plug in that negative value, I get this side length is negative 2. Well, can we have a side length that's negative 2? I don't think so. So what we have to rule out is we can say that this negative 5 is not a solution. It can't be because we can't have one side be positive and one side be negative. And then we can check the second one. So if we plug in the second value was 3. Well, 3 squared 
plus 3 times 3 minus 12. 9 plus 9 minus 12. That's 6. So that gives us a value. So we can say that FG is 10 and IH is 6. Now we have four examples left. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, try them tonight finish them those four examples up and we will go over them tomorrow in class.